Welcome doctors to my lecture. Hope you are doing well. We are studying neuroanatomy. Today we will discuss about an important ascending tract that is the lateral spinothalamic tract. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. This is the cross section of spinal cord at the level of T2. The lateral spinothalamic tracts are present in the lateral part of white matter of spinal cord. These are important ascending tracts involved in carrying sensations of pain and temperature. As the name suggests these tracts passes through spinal cord to thalamus. The sensations are carried by nerve fibers by the dorsal root to the dorsal horn when they synapse. The fibers then decussate and ascends upwards in contralateral spinothalamic tract. Similarly the fibers from the other side also decussate and ascends upwards in contralateral spinothalamic tract. These fibers carry sensations upwards to thalamus and brain. Now we will discuss the sensations carried by the lateral spinothalamic tract. The sensations carried by the lateral spinothalamic tract are number 1 pain and 2 temperature. These sensations are carried by the dorsal root to the spinal cord. These fibers immediately decussates after entering spinal cord and then ascends upward in the form of lateral spinothalamic tract to carry sensations to the brain. Respected doctors, now please fully concentrate on next slide to grip the concepts firmly. The route of entrance of fibers into the spinal cord and the level of decussation of fibers are the two most important things to remember. This will help you to localize the site of lesion. Thank you. Here we will discuss the pathway of lateral spinothalamic tract in detail for clearing our concepts. The sensations of pain and temperature are detected by free nerve endings present in the skin. These sensations are then carried by type A delta fibers. These are fast myelinated fibers and transmits impulses by saltatory conduction at a much faster rate. These fibers are first order neurons. These neurons passes through dorsal root. These are pseudounipolar neurons with their cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglion. These first order neurons synapse at substantia gelatinosa which is part of the gray matter of the dorsal horn of spinal cord. Here second order neurons originate and decussate immediately as anterior white commissure. These fibers then ascends upwards as lateral spinothalamic tract of contralateral side. These second order neurons terminate in ventriposterolateral nucleus that is VPL nucleus of thalamus. Here third order neurons originate and carry sensations upward towards the primary somatosensory cortex of the brain. Now we will discuss the order of neurons. The sensations are carried by first order neurons through dorsal root to substantia gelatinosa where synapse occurs. Second order neurons originates and decussates immediately as anterior white commissure and ascends upwards as lateral spinothalamic tract. These second order neurons terminate in ventriposterolateral nucleus that is VPL nucleus of thalamus. Here third order neurons originate and ascends upwards to the primary somatosensory cortex of the brain. Any lesion to the lateral spinothalamic tract will cause loss of pain and temperature sensations on the contralateral side. In this diagram the brown fibers shows first order neuron, yellow fibers show second order neuron and blue fibers show third order neuron. Take a second to memorize it. Respected doctors now it's time to test your knowledge. After gunshot injury to lower back, patient has contralateral loss of pain and intact temperature sensation. What is the diagnosis? Options are A. Section of dorsal root cut. B. Syringomyelia. C. Brown C. Quad syndrome. D. Early stage Tabes dorsalis. Have a good brainstorming. You got it. The correct answer is option A. That is section of dorsal root cut. Second question, hemisection of the spinal cord on left side will cause which of the following option A, loss of pressure on right side, B, loss of vibration on right side, C, loss of pain on left side or D, loss of temperature on right side. If you concentrate on the options, you will find the correct answer. Take your time, you got it. 
The correct answer to this question is option D. Never hurry in solving these questions. Always take your time. Thank you.